guys, it's Jess from Marks and Motherhood, and today I am super excited to show you guys the second bag in my mini backpack lineup. I am bringing a few different brands to this series I'm creating for moms that aren't carrying a whole lot more anymore or don't tend to overpack and just trying to decide which mini backpack will work best for them. So for those of you who don't know, I have a six-year-old, a four-year-old, an 18-month-old, and then our last one is on the way due in February. All right, and the bag I have for you guys today is the Mina Bay Kinney, the mini version in the color Stone. So I'm gonna pull it out for you guys. They have their logo right here. And then on this side, they say the item in your wardrobe that will always fit. And I always think it's fun when companies do a little extra with their packaging. So even here, they have some, their logo on the little sticker that goes on the tissue paper. They have a nice dust bag that comes with it. This bag is microfiber vegan leather, so it's stain resistant and water resistant, which is really nice. And I will go over, ooh, this is pretty. Sorry. <laughs> I will go over some of the other features when we zoom in on the bag. I was thought this would be a lot darker, but I really like it. It's a really pretty neutral kind of beige gray color. You can't really see anything back there because it's nicely packaged. But I'm just going to zoom in for you guys so you can get a closer look at the bag with me and I'm not having to hold it up to the camera. So let's take a look. this earlier but Mina Bay did send me this bag for review I reached out to them letting them know that I was working on this project and I think a lot of you are gonna really really love this bag if you're a minimalist packer just for yourself even it's just a really sleek modern design and this stone shade is so pretty their logo is very faint in gold in the front now for all the pockets and stuff and I'll realize more stuff as I pack it and use it up for you guys this is just a first look impressions kind of a thing so here this front pocket does have a magnet and you know how much I love magnets so I really like that that is what's included and it's a pretty nice size here and it has a key fob right here in the front which is nice because this is probably where you'll stick your keys so it makes it really easy to grab them then here is a bottle pocket on the side, same thing, a nice magnetic pocket. And then on this side is another magnetic bottle pocket. So even if you're just wanting to secure something else on the side, I really love that feature. All right, now for the back. I really love the features here on the back. So you do have the option to take off the backpack straps, which is always nice, and you can tuck them into this back pocket here which I know is a game changer for a lot of people. Just so if you're carrying it crossbody, it's less bulky looking on the side. So that part is really nice. Another nice feature they have for those moms of you that travel is this zippered pocket here actually doubles as a luggage sleeve. So you can slip your suitcase through here, which I love. I wish we had this when traveling with my kids because you can always carry it on your back, but I also usually had a baby carrier and stuff, so I really, really love that feature on such a small bag. Then here we have a nice little zipper pull and a padded pocket here for a phone, I'm assuming. We'll slip my iPhone 8 Plus. Tons of room here in the back. Great protection. You're not gonna worry about doing anything like that. I'll test out a few other things as I use the bag, but there's that. Now, what's also nice about the backpack straps is it's the same microfiber vegan leather all the way down, and they are adjustable. And then I love this feature. It was also on the Park and Faith bag I showed you guys, but it just keeps this from wiggling all around and opening up really big. It just secures it a little bit better. So those are the back of the bag 
features pretty much. The last few things that you have here is a grab handle, which is always nice, and then these D-rings that can work as stroller clips here on either side of the bag. All right, now we're gonna jump on the inside of the bag. Now this is a nice magnetic feature that you can see. You can see three magnets, kind of. Maybe if I zoom in a little closer, you'll see where those three magnets are, and so it makes it really easy. Your bag catches really easy to close. I love how their zipper goes around and acts as kind of a decorative piece, as well as being able to zip both sides out of the way. All right, and in here we have two straps. So you have a shoulder strap if you just wanna carry it on your shoulder, and then you also have the crossbody strap. So lots of different ways to wear it, which is nice. Lots of padding that we're gonna pull out of here. And here is the inside of the bag. I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit better so you guys can see it um, without it being so dark. So there is a lot of internal organization in this bag. So you have this back slip pocket right here that's padded that can hopefully fit our iPad or a similar size tablet, so I'll be testing that out. Then you have this pretty leather trim with their logo and a gold zipper for their zipper pocket. Back here, that's a pretty good size. Then right under it, you have a large elastic pocket that goes across there in the back. Then on this side, which I thought was really cool, you have another zipper pocket with the leather trim just without their logo. Same gold zipper, pretty good size also. Then the same little elastic pocket that goes across. Then as you can see, there's a bottle pocket on this side and a bottle pocket on this side, both with elastic on it. All right, so that is all the pockets for the inside and the outside and all the awesome features of this bag. I'm really excited to show you guys how it works. Just realize now that these are magnetic. So you can zip it out all the way if you need to and they'll raise up, but then they also stay secure on the side to give you that sleek look. And yeah, just tons and tons of great features added to this bag. All right guys, so that is all for the Mina Bay Kinney. Again, this is the mini version. If there's anything you're wanting to see inside of this bag or any questions that you guys have, just be sure to comment down below and I will try to include it in my review in a couple of weeks. But otherwise, that is all for today. If you're wanting to see all the other bags that I have lined up for this series, as well as a comparison of the bags, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell, and you'll be notified as soon as I upload them. Thanks for watching.